Is Voldemort a twink? No, Voldemort's a fucking creepy ass no nose dude. But if you're into that. <laughs> you're gonna start every video like this. Apparently, this is my intro now, I just burp. Good evening. Hi. On if at all. Uh, you may be thinking, in fact you're probably not because who watches me? No one. <laughs> uh, those of you who do watch me will know that my camera broke. I am actually using Andrew's camera. Hi. Um, we just filmed a video over on his channel which will be vastly superior to this one. We um, read porn to each other. I encourage you go and watch it. And can I just say that Andrew just went out to buy this and as he was going out the door he said to me if you're good, I will get you some chocolate. <laughs> I feel like I was still in the mindset of the porn we just wrote to each I other. I think that's what it was. <laughs> I think that he was in this mind of daddy. Anyway, so we have decided to play Playground Insults. If you're not familiar with the game, it's basically when you, where you just say silly insults to one another and the other person has to, well, you both have to try and not laugh. Um, so that is what we're gonna do. We know each other very well, so this- Some would say too well. This could be interesting. So, let's see what we can come up with. Right. Andrew, would you like to start? You've dyed your hair so many different colours over the last year or so that a gay man would happily parade on it. <laughs> <laughs> Your beanie is so lame that Avril Lavigne wouldn't even put you in one of her early noughties music videos. Shit, that's that's a blow right there. <laughs> At least I'd get consideration. I've got the black hair. I've got the beanie. I'm halfway there. You're you're a, you're a wannabe LGBTQ member who isn't actually LGBTQ. <laughs> You try so hard to find your own niche, but you're sad that you don't actually have an obscure sexuality to, to rip off of. You are so attention seeking with your singing that I distributed sets of earplugs to my housemates before you came to stay with me. <laughs> Because I knew that once you got like a bit of booze in you that you'd be singing along to the Spotify with no regard for anyone else's ears. You're so straight that every time one of your female friends snogs you on a night out, you have to go home and wash your mouth with just to feel better! <laughs> They want to know why you're coming to their concerts. <laughs> they don't want you there. <laughs> Jim Blunt called. He says you're not beautiful, so can you fuck up out of my theatre? <laughs> he says he's sorry, but it's true. <laughs> he saw your face in a crowded place and didn't know what to do. <laughs> Keeps breaking out of its ball in a mad attempt to escape from the hellhole that is sharing living space with you. <laughs> it's alright, Charlotte Reed did the same in the end. <laughs> Phil was only interested in you because he thought that your dick was a dessert. <laughs> And then, when he tasted your he was bitterly disappointed. <laughs> Olivia called. She's having a breast reduction. She wants to know if you want a donation. <laughs> I finally went there. Would you like some of my hair, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know I look like a 13-year-old girl. 
position. My bum's getting numb. From all the times you've had anal. No. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, really, ouch. <laughs> is the reason that you top so often because your anus is so loose now? <laughs> <laughs> Old. They want that extra layer of their life back that you took. <laughs> <laughs> the years 2010 to 2013 called fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> What were you doing back then, Andrew? <laughs> Trick or cold? Stop going after his dad, you crazy bitch! <laughs> Never! <laughs>